Jackie Sides here with LearnToFiddle.com and we are outside in our backyard today because fall is on its way and summer has just um, started ending and I am so sad but we just have a lovely day so I want to catch as much sun as possible. So today we're going to talk about locking pinky. If you have this problem you know what I'm talking about. Now I'm not used to doing this so I'm going to have to make myself make my pinky lock. So I'm going to hold my finger up and my violin and the pinky, the fourth finger here, sometimes if you don't hold it right on your instrument, this joint right here will lock. And it makes it really hard to get a good vibrato, and it also makes it hard to, to be done with your pinky and go on to the next note. So I'm going to give you a few secrets for that. The first secret is, you want to hit on the edge, the very tip edge of your pinky. And then the most important thing is, make sure that the joint that connects your pinky to your hand isn't way far away from the violin. If you're doing this, your pinky's almost always going to lock and you're going to be out of tune and your, your hand's going to be stressed. If you'll bring this joint in close to your instrument, you can see how close I'm bringing it into my instrument. I'm going to show you this direction. Not like this, but all the way in like this. And you can see how I'm on the tip, the very tip. And so, if you'll bring your, your pinky in, like this, and put it on the tip, it's going to help you play with the curved pinky. Another thing that a lot of people do is they press too hard with their pinky, and that causes it to lock. Now, I'm not used to making my pinky lock, so I'm having to work with this. But if you'll practice playing your third finger, getting a good ring on your open D string, and go to your pinky and press it down really light. See how I'm just barely making a sound? Practice not even making a sound, but keeping the pinky curved and the joint in. Then you can go a little heavier. A little heavier yet. And you can practice. That's a good exercise. It's one, four, two, four, three, four, and back down the scale. It's so very important for playing a tune like Sally Gooden, where you keep that four down for a whole part. If I didn't lift it at all, during the entire part, it wouldn't be such a big deal. But the fact that you have to lift your pinky every couple of measures or so is really um, important to make sure that your pinky's not locked because if it's locked, it's gonna be hard for you to lift it off the string. So um, be sure to check out my other videos on Learn to Fiddle YouTube channel.